Hi everybody, uh, it's been a minute. It's actually been a few months since we've talked. I believe last time we did this, we were actually waiting for elephants to show up. So it's been a few months and it's been a busy few months. Obviously the focus for a long time was the barn, the barn, the barn to get ready for those elephants from Ireland. That's in and done. So since then we have shifted to a lot of other parts of the project like we'll walk through today. One of the first ones, this is what we call yard three. And one of the cool things that's going on now are these fake trees. These, we call these enrichment trees. And within these trees are wenches and pulleys and uh, electricity and some other things. So we can uh, put food and different enrichment items in the trees, hanging from baskets, et cetera, et cetera. So we have five of these trees in total. Uh, and part of this is to encourage the elephants to move around, go to parts of the exhibit maybe they normally wouldn't go, and just to mix it up every single day. So these trees are made out of concrete. It's uh, quite the process, but when you talk about making something elephant proof, uh, it always gets a little bit crazy, and these trees are an example of that. So we're actually a few days away from being done with these trees. And then other parts of the site are getting finished touches on the thematic rock work. And then, honestly, this yard three, which is the last yard that we actually finish, is our kind of our lay down area. So you see all the stuff laying around because actually our focus really is gonna be on yard two to get that complete for Sabu. Uh, we also have a big uh, side pool and waterfall going in here. It's what you're looking at there. Um, so this is yard three, wrapping up. Things are uh, looking good. Hopefully this weather continues because it has been amazing. So where we're standing now, this is actually a peninsula, kind of a lookout area where you can get a 270 degree view of the elephant yard. Uh, it's elevated obviously. But one of the neat things up here, uh, which we haven't touched on much, is the building in the back, that's actually our otter, a small clawed Asian otter building that have a beautiful habitat. That whole building actually gets shot with rock work, so it'll look like something in the, you'll see in a jungle, uh, heavily planted, things like that. But that'll be underwater viewing for the otters, as well as, as, well as above ground viewing. Uh, there'll also be a hornbill exhibit over to the side of that building. And then uh, where these poles are, this will be a Saimang habitat, uh, which would be super popular. All this is, and this also just be a public area as well. So lots of big planters with lots of big trees and some trellises. Uh, so a good gathering area for folks as well. But this would be a sweet shot out into the elephant exhibit surrounded by some really neat uh, exhibits right behind you. All right, so this is the view from that upper peninsula I was talking about down into yard two. This is the yard that actually we need to get done first. Uh, when Sabu comes back uh, earlier in the summer from Columbus, this is where uh, actually they all be able to come out to. So they're digging the stream that'll connect the waterfall to the pool. That's literally what they're doing right now. And that's the last big piece of this. Once that's in over the next few weeks, we will do a final grade and spread the sand and do a little bit of horticulture work and it's done. So this would be great to have this chunk of the exhibit done. Uh, this is also a nice sweet view of the facility. All right, so now we're in the Oriental Garden and we're a few weeks away from also having this cleaned up. This will have a beautiful waterfall, heavy botanical presence, uh, just a nice, beautiful, relaxing area with a meandering stream that goes through it. And this actually, one of the nice things, this overlooks uh, essentially the trail network that you need to take to get down to Elephant Trek. So all this kind of mess you're looking at now is a mix of, we're putting in some trellises for overlooks, Bridges over beautiful streams, waterfalls, all that stuff. Uh, that's a big focus of the project right now is get this kind of public side of the site cleaned up over the next, well, few months, honestly. But uh, hopefully this weather continues as well because it's really helping these guys too. Um, and that's the gist of it. So heavy sight, heavy sight, heavy sight, focusing on otters and simangs. The next time we meet in a few weeks, uh, we'll show you some things on essentially the finishing touches that we're putting on the public side of the barn. It's the upstairs uh, group sales space, plus the public space around the pool, things like that. So uh, that'll be the next check-in.